Hey guys, Jamstrap here and welcome back to another video. In today's video is going to be a bit of a different one. It's kind of like a spitball-y idea. It's more, it's going to kind of get some thoughts out there and see with you guys kind of what your opinion on this is. But basically, is the concept of having a main army for 40k actually a thing? So what I mean by that is like, I don't know if you've ever, like, I used to play a lot of World of Warcraft back in the day. And normally in games like that where you take hours and hours and hours to like upgrade your character, make it as strong as possible. You know, you spend hours in there just to try and make it look good and everything like that. You tend to have one main character, something that you, you focus on the most. Because like I said, it takes time and you can't, well, most of the time you can't do every single like different army or character to the best of your abilities. And the same kind of thing I think goes for our hobby because our hobby takes a lot of time. First of all, buying stuff isn't all that cheap. Then you got to build it. You got to kit bash it if you want to. You got to paint it. Then you got to learn all the rules for it, and, you, and then you have to go to like meet up and play. I mean, it it's a massive time sink. So I was thinking, do you guys have a main army? Do you have one that you consider to be your main army, and then maybe you got a couple like sideline things you work on in the background, or you just completely stick to one, or do you just I don't know, every week, every day you're jumping on different units and stuff like that. Now the reason why I bring this up is because obviously 9th edition is coming out and because of work and stuff, I didn't really play 40k that much or any games that much in the last like year or two and I, I really want to change that with 9th edition. I'm thinking, okay, through this lockdown I'm getting a lot of things painted up and yeah, with 9th edition coming along I think, okay, it's a nice fresh beginning. I want to start playing a lot more well, if I can, you know, work permitting and all that kind of stuff. So I'm thinking, I need to choose one army because obviously it takes a lot of time and I want to like focus on one and learn how to play it really, really well, which I've never really done before. Like I said, I'm a bit of a hobby, hobby butterfly. I'm always kit bashing this, buying this army, jumping around and never finishing anything. So yeah, like I said, is this something you guys do or how do you go about it? But I'm going to kind of go through like my options that I'm thinking about and kind of my thought process on picking an army and maybe this will help you choose if you want like oh how you want to go about choosing your main army or if that's something you even want to do. So let's go firstly with my primary space wolves. Now originally they were kind of just like a background thing I was going to you know through buying like box sets and all that kind of stuff I just built up a and Primaris army and then I just started kid bashing them and I wasn't really planning anything but because of the kid bashing and stuff I really started enjoying it and then I started writing lore and now they've got new like assault guys and I absolutely love bikes and stuff like that so I'm like okay this might be my main army now my main thoughts for this is first of all they're space marines so they're always going to have updates they're always going to have new models especially Primaris I'm constantly going to have like a, a nice flow of new things coming into it. Plus, because of the kit bashing, I'm going to be kit bashing for days. I love kit bashing. It's a great project. I can kit bash all the time. They're relatively quick and easy to paint. And I think they're a nice well-rounded army to kind of get back into it. Well, not back into it, but playing more and stuff like that. So I'm thinking, yeah, primary Space Wolves. Or what I'm also maybe thinking of is leaving the Space Wolves primary space wolf shelved until they actually get legit primary space wolf models in the future and maybe begin a completely new homebrew chapter more along the lines of like the dark angel kind of black temple aesthetic something more fitting to like primary so it doesn't take too much kid bashing but also can add that like knightly vibe especially with those new like blade veteran guys that are coming out I really, like, my first kind of dive into 40k was Dark Angels. This is my first kind of, like, thing I ever saw. And I've always wanted to kind of, like, get that aesthetic. So I'm thinking, because Primaris and stuff, I mean, to get them wolfy and stuff, they take a lot more kid bashing. Maybe going towards the Dark Angel kind of side of things, getting that knightly vibe. Like, lots of green stuff robes. I think that would be really, really fun. And it'll give me an opportunity to really flesh out completely homebrew lore. Whereas, like, I'm not 100% stuck to, like, like, with my wolves there. And they've got their wolfy aesthetic. And then I can just kind of go for my own vibe with these. So, yes, my other option is, like, well, continue my space wolves. I've already done loads of them. 
or jump across to starting another Primaris kind of thing and build them up through 9th edition. So that's kind of my process with the Space Wings is the whole loads and loads of options, always updated, loads, I can kid bash, I can paint, I can do everything, I can build my own lore. So I feel like it's a very well-rounded selection. Next up is my Death God. Now I own pretty much every single model in this line apart from like Mortarian, I think. Pretty sure I own everything in here. Now with the Death God, I, <laughs> I really don't like painting them to be honest. It really feels like a chore to me. I mean, I've never really been a fan of like power armor and like big blank slates like that, like Primaris Marine stuff. I don't really like painting it, to be honest. And especially because they got so much extra detail. It's, I don't know, it never really quite clicks with me. But I love the playstyle. The playstyle is 100% like my style. I love the slow, tanky kind of vibe. I do love some of the, not all of them, some of the units I'm not too fond of, but... A lot of the units are absolutely spectacular. Now, are they going to get any love in 9th edition? Eh, I kind of doubt it. I mean, they got a lot of love in 8th edition. So, yeah, they're probably not going to get too much, like, new units and stuff like that. But, I mean, they've got enough. They've got loads and loads of models. I can dip into demons. And I love their playstyle. Like I say, it's just getting them painted isn't the most fun thing for me. So that's kind of my process with that is the the models are cool. Playstyle is great, but they're not going to get too much love. Now, kind of on the same path, I do have a small Chaos Space Marine army because I thought, well, I love all these giant beasties, and they've got so much variety. You can never get bored with Chaos Space Marines. Once again, it's it's painting Power Armor, and they've got loads of trim and stuff like that, but yeah, it's not too bad. And like I said, I love the variety in this one. Once again, will they get as much love as... Space Marines, I mean, nobody does, but I think they will get some stuff, to be honest. I love all the variety in this army. They're kind of like a mid-close range is the kind of thing I prefer. Mainly, th main thing for me on this one is the variety. There's always going to be... I can I can chuck in some Plague Marines if I want to. I can do the Rubric Marines. I can put in Corn Berserkers. I can, I can get a nice buffet plate of all the different guards and all the different units like this. I think it's a nice, well-rounded way to... If I get bored of one aesthetic, I can add a bit of a different one in. And lastly is my Gene Stealer Colts. Now this is one of my favorite armies because I kind of like the the kind of like creepy, horrorish lore behind them. You know, like mutating people and all that kind of stuff. And I actually really, really enjoy painting these. I love playing like more painting, more organic, organic kind of things like flowing cloaks and skin and stuff like that. Especially when it's not human skin, you can kind of get away with not being that great painting when it's an alien skin. They've got they've got these absolutely spectacular bikes, vehicles, they've got quite a lot of variety now. Once again, I actually own pretty much every miniature in this line as well. Yeah, I enjoy painting them. I don't know about the playstyle, I haven't played them to be honest. I know they're probably a bit more of like a, a skill cap on them because of their whole tactics and hiding away. And if you don't do it right, you can get destroyed. So yeah, I feel like this one would be, be pretty good for being a main army because, yeah, I might lose a lot in the beginning, but I feel because it's got that high kind of skill cap level, it's a great army to develop with and get really strong. So yeah, not too much variety in the models, but I love painting them, and the skill cap seems pretty interesting if I eventually get graded it. I think it would be quite good. So yeah, that's basically my kind of like thought processes and how I've been thinking about maybe choosing a main army or something like that because i think if i continue on the path i am and like a lot of us do where we just kind of focus uh well not focus i should say we're just jumping around different things when buying new stuff painting a little bit here or there we never really get like a full thing i want to get something that i really jump into so yeah like i said at the beginning of the video is this even a thing that people do do you have a main army I also think it might be a kind of thing where if you've been playing the game so long and you're quite like an expert at like the game and you know all the rules and how armies play, I think it'd probably be a much easier task for someone to jump around. You've probably got loads of things painted up. You know how everything plays. So yeah, I guess that's probably a different question for you guys. But generally, yeah, comment down below how you guys go about it. Do you have an army? And... If you're like thinking about a main army for 9th edition, you're kind of thing you're going to focus on. 
on my thought process is kind of like I don't know does, does it help out is that a good way to go about it either way guys comment below what you think maybe tell me which army you think I should go for which army are you gonna go for and yeah if you like the video you know what to do and as always if you enjoy this kind of hobby content and kit bashes and painting guides and all that kind of stuff maybe check out my channel and subscribe so yeah until then guys see you in the next one bye bye